Welcome back. I'm now joined on set by Gina Genovese, the Executive Director of Courage to Connect. Gina, thank you so much for joining us tonight. Thank you, Matt. First and foremost, let's get into it. Courage to Connect, your organization, what are you all about? Well, Courage to Connect New Jersey was, I founded it a year and a half ago because I felt that the public needed to be informed about what the realities are if you merge and consolidate in New Jersey. We've been talking about it for over 40, 50 years in Trenton, and I felt that somebody needed to go out and start the dialogue with the citizens. Those words, merger, consolidation, difficult connotations for some, uh, almost taboo in some communities. We're trying to break down those misconceptions, those misperceptions. How are we doing that? As we discuss, it's all about education and awareness about the topic, is it not? Yes, and, and we felt that those were loaded words, and that's why we came up with connect. And we talk about all the towns that are connected to other towns and have a government that's not their name. When you look at Short Hills, Ocean Grove, Mount Tabor, you, Annandale, you look at all these towns that have a distinct feel and name when you enter them, but their government is somewhere else. And we're talking savings, but it's savings across the board, not just dollars and cents, but we're talking about efficiencies, real efficiencies. And at a time of economic turmoil and uncertainty, we're now really starting to take a look at this, are we not? Well, this is the time to do it, Matt. If, if it doesn't happen now, I don't think it will ever happen. Uh, we're seeing layoffs and cuts in services, and it, it's the time to be proactive and try to make our local government stronger. And that's what this would do. How do we get involved? I know you put out kind of a step-by-step -step guidebook to say, hey, this is how you can get involved. This is what you need to know to arm yourself with the knowledge to get involved. Well, Courage to Connect New Jersey has a website, CourageToConnectNJ.org. We do presentations around the state, and so you can look on our calendar and see if there's one in your area. We also do not go into a town unless we're invited. So if you're interested in doing a presentation in your town, let us know. Just email us and we find a, a nice neutral site like a library, community center, and we come into your town and just start the conversation. Let's jump into it. Let's, let's start the conversation right now. We, we want to talk about it in terms of where we can save, what we can do. What are some of the options on the table when you come in and explain to residents and to some elected officials who might be in the audience? Uh, how do you break it down to them? W what are the savings potentially that are on the table? Well, first of all, we try to look at some of the emotional issues that have been, have been stopping this process, and that is loss of community, loss of control, and also those people. You know, I don't want to be with those people. So we start off right away and we say, listen, you're also residents of New Jersey, and you have to make sure that you understand that you're paying for the 566 separate municipalities and 610 separate school districts because 100% of your income tax is dedicated to pay for that structure. That's where we get municipal aid and school aid. And, and so we start to paint the picture that, listen, we're all in this together. We need to try to find a model that works because obviously our structure is not working. And we make people take a different look at New Jersey, take a different look at their communities. And then we start to talk about the savings. And the savings will come when there's five or more towns that are going to connect. That's what I was going to say. There's a number. There's an ideal number involved. Uh, two doesn't seem to work because uh, there's always a winner or a loser. Mm -hmm. Five plus, right? That's what we're looking at potentially? I think that that would give us a model that would work in New Jersey. And we need five courageous towns to come together to be willing to do a study. That's all it is. It's the courage to do a study to see how five towns could come together, the actual savings, and to see what it would look like moving forward. Now, when you began to trumpet this idea many, <laughs> many years ago when you were in office, mm -hmm. uh, maybe a single voice uh, among a loud chorus of dissenters and detractors. Today, that, that chorus isn't as loud, and people are getting aboard. Uh, are we starting to see a change, maybe a turning of the tide a bit, in terms of people saying, hey, this does make sense? I have met the most wonderful people, Matt, elected officials, local elected officials, freeholders that have reached out to me, senators, legislators, citizens, uh, citizens that say, I've never been political, I've never been involved, but you know what, I think it's time that I get involved. And we, have the, we form these wonderful relationships, and they start in Merchantville, they, they actually petitioned and got a, uh, an application to the state. 
Uh, it didn't work because citizens petitioned and Cherry Hill Mayor and Council did a resolution. So we worked with the legislators. We got legislation passed that was just signed by the governor two weeks ago that will allow for that. Because we believe at Courage to Connect New Jersey that the citizens need to start working with local officials to make this happen. And it's empowering everyone around the state. Starting to gain traction. What's the timeline in your, in your estimation? Where do you think this can go? I know it's going to take time. There's no magic bullet. Uh, this is, you know, a problem that we dug ourselves into for a long time. Uh, what do you think the timeline is realistically? I think in the next two to three years we should have a model uh, that, that works. That's what we're looking for. Uh, something that people can say, um, I could do that. And again, that's going to take five to ten towns to come forward and say, we want to try to do this model. And it might be where two towns have citizens petition and three towns have their mayor and council do a resolution. We don't know what that's going to look like. We at Courage to Connect New Jersey do not tell people what they should do and which towns they should merge from. That is very important. It has to be organic. It has to come from the area in New Jersey and it has to come from the residents and the citizens. And, and that's what we're looking for. We do not go into a town unless we're asked. Um, and usually it's a citizen or a local official or the freeholder will ask us to come in and do a presentation. And so this is about citizens coming together and saying, what can we do to help New Jersey, to help our towns, and to help ourselves? Because we're paying the taxes as well. That's important, being on the outside, really having no pull in either direction. Is, has that really propelled you forward, saying, hey, we're totally on the outside here. We're called in here, and people are kind of heeding that saying, hey, I, I don't like being told what to do. I don't like being told to, quote, unquote, merge or consolidate. But I like hearing the options. I think that's essential. Uh, and, and it's essential because New Jersey, one of the problems with consolidation or merging or connecting is there isn't one silver bullet. There's not one way you can do it. You look at Hunterdon County that has 128,000 people in 437 miles and then you look at Bergen County that has 70 <laughs> municipalities. They're just so different and, and there isn't one solution. There isn't a one size fits all and that's why it really has to come from the people and they wanna, they're going to have to want to do this. That's important because we were talking. It's not a number like your 10,000. You have you should really think about this. You should be forced to think about mm -hmm. this. Your X amount of square miles. You should be forced to yeah. think of this. Like you said, this is communal. This is people really, like you said, empowering themselves. And there's so many efficiencies. We talk about people that are just kind of this first step. Yeah, we share dispatch, but that's really not necessarily truly <laughs> sharing services. But it might be a first step, is it not? Yeah, and these are essential first steps. Sharing services has been going on in New Jersey for 20 years. When I was mayor of Long Hill Township in 2006, we had about 15 shared services. Uh, is that going to help us uh, get us out of this hole? I don't know. I don't know. I, I think we really have a structural problem in New Jersey, and the 566 redundant municipal governments, uh, I don't know how much longer we can afford that. And when you take a look at it, in addition to the savings, people might say, well, I don't want to lose my feel, my, the feel of my town. I don't want to lose my town's character. I don't want to compromise emergency services. These are some of those misperceptions that are fueling the controversy, maybe? And that's what we talk about in our presentations. We talk about loss of town identity. We use Woodbridge Township as a model in Middlesex County. It's a fabulous model. It's the oldest township in New Jersey. And 150 years ago, 100 years ago, when towns were fracturing off like Barrowitis and Bergen County, Woodbridge remained whole. So what you have now is 10 distinct communities or 10 distinct towns under one mayor, one police chief, one DPW. And you start to see how it works. And you also start to see how effective this, the, the local government is and the services that they can offer. And you know at the end of the day, people, are, when you were in office, are coming to your door, what can we do about property taxes? What can we do about property taxes? This seems to be a solution that might be in the cards. I saw it when I was mayor of Long Hill Township. We had a town, our town was 9,000 with 3,100 households. So 3,100 households are bearing the burden of a police department, a DPW, an administrative structure. And I, I just felt like the economies of scale were not there. I felt that Long Hill Township should not exist by itself that it needed to combine with some towns so they could offer better services for, uh, you know, less dollars. And at the end of the day, now you're helping people realize that dream, right? 
it's, it's been fantastic. The people of New Jersey get this. You know, I believe in the people of New Jersey. They're smart. And education is huge. So let's get in a room. Let's talk about it. Let's start seeing the state of New Jersey for what it is. Because if you actually want to know what you pay in property taxes, you have to add your income tax, your property tax, and half of 1% of your sales tax. That's, exa that's all the monies that go to support this structure. And where can we learn again? I know you, you mentioned it. Where can we learn more? about Courage to Connect New Jersey and where you'll be throughout the summer. We have Courage to Connect NJ.org, our website. We have an educational video there. We have a wealth of information. We have our guidebook, the Tools for Municipal Consolidation in New Jersey, which shows you how to use the 2007 law. You can download it on our guidebook. And you can email me through our website. And we have a calendar that shows you where we're going to be throughout the state. Excellent. Well, thank you so much for spending some time today. And I know you, you're going to have an active summer, so uh, I wish you all the best. Thank you, Matt. All right, everyone, stay with us. Much more hometown after this.